everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I'm back with another craft challenge from Made by Mommy. If you guys saw last month's video, I did the Tiki Room with a bunch of just random crafts that were inside of a box that was sent to me. Not only did I do it, but there was a bunch of other awesome YouTubers who came up with completely different, just separate crafts, and they were all really, really cool. So it's October. Time to do it again, so I'm back with another unboxing. Cool, let's unbox this thing and let's see what we've got in here. Let's see it, what could it be, what could it be? Oh, this thing is heavy. Okay, okay, come on, there we go. Really sealed that thing, oh geez. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be some, some fun stuff in here. I got a Ziploc bag. This is the first thing I'm pulling out. Are those like wiffle ball, like mini wiffle balls? Okay, so these are like popsicle makers. I think you make popsicles of these. Oh, gee, this is... This... <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. Okay, so I got little popsicle makers. I got zip ties. Are these chopsticks? What are these? I don't even know what these little things are. These little, like, black things. I don't know what they are. Okay. <laughs> is this a challenge, Kim? Is this a challenge? Is this a challenge? Should I do the rest of the video with vampire teeth? Oh no. Oh, uh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, this is this, the quality of this video just went way up. So I got balloons, orange balloons. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the whole video with these vampire teeth in. Uh, what is this like? Uh, you know, like crafting string. Crafting string. It's crafting string. Uh, <laughs> You can make like bracelets and stuff like that out of them. More of these sticks. Lots of sticks. Okay, okay. A marker. Some crayons. What is this? A snack? Fruit by the foot! Yeah, fruit by the foot! Who doesn't love fruit by the foot? Okay. That's that. <laughs> what is this? These vampire teeth are just crazy. Like, I don't know if you guys can even understand what I'm saying. But this is like a cool roll of craft paper. It's like orange. All right, that's a, that's a good sized roll. All right, let's put you off to the side. Roll of paper, crayons, balloons, wiffle balls. Like seriously, <laughs> wiffle balls. Should I juggle? You guys want to watch me juggle? Let's see if it'll work. Juggle. Yeah, no, not that great at juggling. All right, what else we got? Fuzzy sticks, lots of fuzzy sticks. Okay, the teeth gotta go. Sorry. You guys can't understand anything I'm saying. I can't understand anything I'm saying. I tried. Maybe I'll put them back in as I crack, but... Pipe cleaners! Awesome. Awesome, awesome pipe cleaners. Some glue. Washable glue. Cool, I'm glad that was in a bag, because I know how that can go. More popsicle sticks from Ebu, so that'll be fun. Now, you guys didn't get to see in my last video, I didn't leave in the hour of footage of me trying to put these craft, these popsicle sticks together with no glue. I Like, that thing I did on my Tiki Room thing, that was all just forced together. There was no glue involved. Arm bag. <laughs> okay, so we're getting dressed up. I'm gonna open this thing up. These are floaties. These are straight up floaties for your arms. But <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but let's see. I definitely couldn't do this with the uh, vampire teeth in. Okay, that's a part of it. I'm not doing both because I'm winded. <laughs> what do we got? Crazy fun pack. Is this more soup modeling compound? Okay, so we've got the equivalent of like a, a clay kind of Play-Doh type material. Crazy fun packs. So I got four colors, red, yellow, blue, and green. So that's good. Can make something cool. Oh, this is this is for the popsicles, right? Like, can I make... Oh, I don't... I don't even know what to do with these popsicle fruit, but like, is it gonna be edible? Should it be an edible craft? Are there... There's gotta be rules in here telling me what I can and can't do. Okay. Oh, there's something big in here. What is this? What is this? Okay, this is a mesh. A roll of green mesh. Celebrated mesh. Some kind of green... It's like, I don't know what that is. Alright. Okay. Funny glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Kim? Oh, made by mommy. Really, really had it out for me this round. Like this is this is where we're at now. This is this is how this is how I make videos now. Wow. Okay. 
<laughs> You've gotta go. Uh, we've got some general purpose. This is like masking tape, kind of. Yeah, just general purpose tape. Good. That'll be good to have. What else we got in here? Uh, what are these stencils? So I've got the. They're like paper cut out, almost like stencils. I guess you could use them to make like a picture frame or something like that. Okay, those are interesting. And again, guys, my goal is to always try to do as much, use as much of this stuff as possible. I've got rules here, which I'm gonna get to in just a second. So I've got a couple pieces of black and white craft paper, like, you know, construction paper. Now on to the rules. These might be different than the last time. So, okay, now, if you guys don't know already, it's made by mommy, youtube.com slash MBM Crafts. There's a link down in the description below. And she also puts together these really fun highlights of everybody's videos that are hilarious. So you definitely have to go subscribe to her and check that stuff out. Rule number one, if I can read it with these goggles, this month, you can use glue, clear tape, and markers from home. No other craft materials may be added to your projects, though. We want a level crafting field. Uh oh, okay. Number two, you do not need to use everything in the box. Try to include at least five different items. There are plenty of choices in there. I can definitely do at least five, but this is going to be interesting. Number three, yes, you can use the box itself, which is great. Last time I used the box, and it was a huge, it was mostly the box. All right, number four, you can use scissors and other basic tools that you have around the house. No tools that require electricity and safety first. I know some participants didn't think last month's eyewear was very protective, so I've tried to do better this time and also added a mouth guard. Very cute. Very, very cute. All right. Number five, feel free to film the unboxing, your crafting process, and of course, the end result. Number six, have fun. If you aren't having fun, you need to find the mouth protection in the box and try to say your favorite tongue twister three times fast or eat the snack. That always helps me feel better. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Now, guys, this time around, I'm doing something different. My head's already kind of racing with what I think I should do, but you know what? I'm going to do something different because I feel like if you want to get into crafting, you want to do artwork, you should push yourself outside of your normal comfort zone. So today, I actually have some friends who have been watching this whole thing. They're right here behind my computer. They are on Periscope watching this whole unboxing live. And I need your guys' suggestions now. What do you think I should make? Now, me personally, I want to keep it Disney, just because I love Disney so much. But I want to know, what are your guys' suggestions? So I'm going to be reading these off. Someone says, something Halloween-y. I definitely could do something halloween -y. I've got this cool orange paper. I've got some of this green. Some neat pipe cleaners, orange balloons, black chopsticky twist tie things. So what else we got? What else do you Jungle Cruise theme? I like that. I like Jungle Cruise theme. Uh, Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a really good suggestion. Someone else is Jack Skellington. Maybe I should put the glasses on. You think that might help? The glasses might help. What do you guys think? I mean, take a look at this stuff. I got floaties. The ball is so jack. Yeah, okay. Go sculptural. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's make a sculpture. That's awesome. These glasses actually look really good on me. I'm just going to start wearing these always. Yeah? No? Anybody? <laughs> okay. Haunted Mansion. Oh, see, that's a good idea because we're in October. It's the October Craft Challenge. A merman costume. I don't think there's enough um, green stuff there to uh, give me a merman costume. Just saying. I'm not a small dude. <laughs> but but the floaties would work. The floaties would actually help me swim a little bit better. But don't forget, I also have these popsicle sticks. I've got tons of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Halloween Town, that's that's a good suggestion. That is a really good suggestion. But again, I want to keep it Disney. I like Disney. I do a lot of Disney stuff on my channel. Ghost, ghost. You know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I liked... Hmm, this is a toss-up. It's a toss-up between Haunted Mansion for me, it, which is tough because there's not like a lot of the green, glowy color that I'm used to with Haunted Mansion, and Jungle Cruise. But how, how do I make it also... Halloween. Hmm. Okay, keep going. I'm going to take a couple more suggestions, and I'm going to decide. But you guys won't know exactly what I've decided until you watch me craft it. You guys are coming up with some really cool stuff. So I've got my list. I've got a good list going here. Now, i got to figure out what it is, but the only way you're going to find out is if you guys watch the rest of the video. Enjoy. Well, guys, I picked which one I'm going to go with now for a little inspiration. It's time for a trip in the jungle
guys, well I've got my two crafts. This time I made two crafts. The first one is this cool little Mickey pumpkin thing. Now when I went to uh, Disneyland to kind of get some inspiration for what I was going to do, uh, I noticed that the whole resort was filled with pumpkins. There's this big giant one in the middle of Main Street, so I figured why not make a version of that. Now what I did is I actually took one of the floaties and I covered it in the masking tape and then I wrapped the orange paper around it and kind of glued and taped that down. And then I made two little smaller ones. Initially they were going to be balloons, but one of my balloons kind of, you know, died. I don't know what's going on with it. It might have a leak or something. The other one, there was three balloons. The other one my kid took, so that's long gone. And then I've got this one, which was the right size, but that didn't quite work out. So I wasn't able to use the balloons this time around. Instead, I used the paper, and that worked out pretty well. Um, and then I used the pipe cleaners with a little bit of the green stuff to kind of make the stems, masking tape to hold it all together, some of the white paper but colored with yellow crayon to make the face. And voila, there we have a nice little Halloween decoration. So I managed to do something Halloween-y during the October challenge, which is nice. The other part of the challenge, or the other part of my craft that I made, is actually a Jungle Cruise game. You see, it's a little game here. So I made this little boat. It's a little Jungle Cruise boat. You see it? And what I did is I used the box. I cut the box to make the boat shape, put some sticks on the outside, and I actually used the uh, red part of the, the priority mailbox to make the little awning. And those, see those little black dots right in the center? Those are actually those black sticks. I stuck them through, and what they'll do being there is, before I didn't have a way to put the ball, but what I did is you put the ball and it should stay pretty nicely right on top of those four little pegs. And then what you do is you take the bat, which is basically just a bunch of the Eboo Popsicle sticks wrapped in a, a zip tie and then masking tape to kind of soften it. And you're gonna flick the ball in towards the game area. Now there's some animals in here that I made with clay. There's a giraffe. There is a hippo, and there is a snake. There's even a cave that I made in the back that's used the uh, vampire teeth. Some construction paper, it's kind of a cave thing back there. And there's these little yellow tins in there, not tins, but little buckets, and those buckets are actually from the uh, Play-Doh kind of stuff. And uh, so basically, when you flick the ball inside, if you get it inside, you get one point. If you get it to land in a yellow bucket, you get two points, and at the end of it, the winner gets to eat a popsicle. Right? Now, I would say fruit by the foot, but during all the crafting, I happen to eat the fruit by the foot. Delicious. So, you guys want to see it in action? Let's take a look real quick. Well, guys, I think I've earned this popsicle. Let me know what you thought about my craft down in the uh, comments below. Be sure to check the description because there's a link to a playlist, and this playlist has all the other crafters who took this month's craft challenge. And a big thank you goes out to Made by Mommy for inviting me and all the others to take the challenge and sending us all these cool craft supplies. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like my craft. Be sure to check out the other channels and give them a thumbs up and a subscribe. And don't forget Made by Mommy. Definitely subscribe to her channel because these craft challenges are a lot of fun. They push you to do something new, which is good if you're into art, if you're into just anything. I don't care what it is. Do something different. Do new stuff all the time. It's a good thing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.